try it this way. Hey, everybody, welcome to the call. I'm really, really excited about this kind of special ad hoc call, but I wanted to do this now to kind of capture the excitement and capture um, just some shared experiences about what happened last weekend. So just to kind of set this up, um, let's see, it was Danny and Kelly and Shannon and Renee and Kim Connolly and Stephanie um, were at the basic seminar this weekend. And previously, we might have a few people getting on. We had, um, in the last one, it, Michelle uh, Freeman Pratt was there and, oh my gosh, I'm gonna start blank. Judy was there and somebody else. Oh, Christy Clark was there and previous to that. So we have these seminars in DC not very often. They happen all over the country. We just don't have them on the East Coast as often as we have them in Phoenix and San Francisco and a lot of other cities. I first got involved with SCI seminars in 1999. I took my basic, which is the same thing that, that Danny and Renee and Kelly and Shannon just did and Kim. Um, I first took my basic in 1999 and I have continued on with this personal growth um, company and done a lot of the classes. But I just wanted to share with everybody what's possible to be accomplished just in a three day weekend. And I say a lot, you know, there's um, what happens in that weekend. Hey, Kim, you made it. Can you hear me? Because you don't look like you can hear me. Oh. Maybe. You're so bright and white. <laughs> I can hear you. Awesome. So what happens in the three-day weekend is access to breakthroughs is, I think, the best way that I can describe it. And things that you might not even think that you need to push through, things that you don't even know your, um, that are running your life, right? Programs and, and that are running your life. And so you can accomplish in three days what might take you three years of going to meetings, going to events, going to online learnings, like going to therapy even, right? What you can accomplish in three days and bust through some pretty serious major stuff and um, get to the other side because that's where the growth is. That's where the magic is. That's where the good things start to happen. And so I'm just going to open it up and let people share. So for me, I'm going to wrap it up quick. For me, it's been personal growth. It's been, um, you know, going to some of the advanced classes. I mean, if you had ever told me, like I, I say all the time, I'm an introvert and everybody laughs at me, right? Yeah. Oh, right. You're an introvert. Well, I am. And I, what I got access to during the basic and in the advanced classes was access to my leadership and access to getting comfortable doing the things that I was really uncomfortable doing. And so that was it for me. And I'm going to, um, who wants to go first? You'll know it's your turn to speak because you'll be speaking. How about that? Go ahead. Me. <laughs> oh, Kelly, oh, go Shane. for it, sister. I think all of us like unmuted at the same time, Danny, Kelly, Kimberly, and I, I think we all just unmuted. <laughs> Okay. I'll, t I'll okay. wait. I'll wait patiently. Go ahead, Shannon. Okay. I, I literally have my two cousins on um, bath duty and pajama duty. So we're good to go for a little bit. I got this. They got this. So um, I just have to say like this past weekend, I'm going to close the door real quick. Because I want my cousins to go to this seminar. So I don't want to like overdo it for them. Um, I went into this weekend, honestly, um, you know, Robin and Don and Christy and Jill all, you know, had um, talked about the seminar and it was kind of one of those things like, I was like, okay, I'm just going to go because almost like stop bugging me. Not, not to be rude, but like, I'm just going to do it because like, I got to do something like it's this or this or this or this. I'm just going to do it. And Kelly and I had talked about it and Kelly's one of my best friends. So I'm like, we'll do it together. I, I had no idea what it was about. I didn't research it. I literally signed up. Um, Shannon, the analyzer, didn't research it? Oh I didn't. My God. Honestly, I didn't because there's so much else going on in my life right now that is consuming my, my, um, my analyzing to where that's taking over everything else. 
Um, and I th believe it or not, this is one thing I didn't research and that's hard for me because usually I'm like down to the detail. I did get us a hotel room, Kelly, because that's me. I'm like, I gotta be there. I gotta be on time. I gotta be there. Da, 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 da. But, um, I, I didn't look mm -hmm. into what, what it was all about or, or anything. I just was like, you know, I'll, I'll do this. You know, it was kind of one of those things. I'm in a place in my life where there's so much going on that I I'm, I'm at a point for me of confusion. And so it's just been kind of crazy. So, um, get there. I had a Wednesday, I had a, an appointment at Johns Hopkins with my spine surgeon. I had spine surgery 21 years ago and it was actually a really interesting appointment. And, um, so I stayed in this area where where the seminar was and I kind of just like put myself in a zone of me because of the appointment I was like all right I'm gonna go into this weekend I have no idea what I'm doing but it I it's it's me I my son's at home um it's me still had no idea what I was doing um go into the seminar on Friday and honestly that first day it was amazing because like you start to you start to think, and I can't, I can't explain what those three days did for me personally, but in this last week, it's been a week, you know, well, today's day two of a week ago. Um, I'm a different person in this last week, big time, like including today, like big time. Um, it feels good. I feel confident and I just, things have changed in a way that it's about me and I don't think I ever put me first. So it's, it's really nice to have this feeling. And if you're ever looking to do something for you in your personal development for yourself, I honestly went in thinking I'm going to do this for my business, honestly, which bettering me is going to better my business a hundred percent, but it's also going to better me as a person for anyone who's around me. And tonight with my family, I think it, it showed a lot tonight. We, we, we're still going. <laughs> Nate's going to be late to school tomorrow, but that's okay. Um, but I, I have to say, you know, I, I'm a skeptic for a lot of things in life. I really am. Um, and you kind of always second guess and you question things, but going into this, I've never, I never questioned. I never second guessed. And I, I'll be honest, I'll be open with all of you right here. I've been in therapy. I go to counseling and this is a whole different world in life. It, 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 all those years since I was a kid in counseling to an adult in counseling with a counselor, what you find for yourself in something that you dig deep down and, and what, can do what for you, you find for yourself or what it, I found for myself. <laughs> right. What I find for myself is a big difference. And I mean, I, I'm blessed because, I, you know, I had Dawn, I had Danny, I had Kelly, I, and I met Kimberly and I have Renee. Like we had this group, but it was just amazing. And, and Danny and I, I mean, Kelly and I have been, I'll be honest with everybody here. Kelly and I have been very good friends for years and years and years. So we already have that connection, but Danny and I like, there's something now between Danny and I that I don't think anybody, I know I love you too, that I don't think people will understand like what we have now. Same with you, Dawn. Dawn, you and I connected on a whole different level um, to where you're not just a mentor in business, but you are definitely a part of my life. And what I take in this is the, this last week, what I've done for myself from the size seminar has been a huge huge deal and what it's done for me what it's done for my family and um this is just the beginning so i mean i i want everyone i know like my my cousin's taking care of my kid right now which i hope i don't know what they're doing i th i told them all that they have to go like like we all have to do this i'll go with them like we have to do this if you want to do anything for you or yourself you need to do this hands down hands down i'm done oh, thank you yeah, it's about it's about you. It's about you and being a better mom and being a better husband or wife or better communicator. It's it's all of those things. It's it's because it's about you, right? At your at, at your core. All right. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you for sharing and thank you for sharing so honestly. Who's up next? You know how it works, guys. If if you're next, you're the one that's talking. So I'm not running this show. Speak up. I think she's on mute. Oh, you're good. 
you're talking, so you're on, Kim. Oh, okay. So um, my goal for attending the Side Basics seminar was to gain some clarity and purpose. I have two kids, one's a sophomore tech and the other will be a freshman next fall. And so I will be an empty nester very soon. So I've sort of been wrestling with, do I, um, you know, pursue isogenics full-time, go full steam, or do I continue doing it part-time and go back to what I used to do, which was corporate marketing, product management, event management, or was it something else altogether? So I was really fortunate, I will say, to have Dawn staffing the event. And even though we didn't really talk a lot the first day and a half, she asked me the second day, what do I really want to do? And I realized it, it was completely different than what I'd been thinking about. So I told her that recently I've been working with a couple of nonprofits, both focused on veteran support. Um, one of them was Honor Flights and the other was Operation Gratitude, which is that one that um, they their whole purpose is... Um, is to thank all those, those who've served. And they do it in a variety of ways, but they one of the big ways is through creating these care packages that they deliver to first responders and active duty and veterans and stuff like that. So um, that really, you know, I have this passion for wanting to really help with them. So through the basic seminar, um, there were all these different exercises that had you think about what you're doing from a conscious and a subconscious perspective. And I won't tell you anything else, but I'll just tell you that what I realized is that I've been coming from a place of doubt, doubt and it's been holding me back. And this, just like, every, you know, you'll hear from everybody, I think, this week has been really different. Like, I know you come away from some isogenics events, and I did go into the book thinking about isogenics with this, but truly, I didn't come out thinking about, not that I'm not pursuing it, but it was really more about me, what Shannon said, really more about um, finding clarity of purpose for me. What am I doing next, and how can I do things better? Um, and as part of our homework, um, we were um, asked to state goals and, you know, a time at which we, you know, realize those goals. And so my first goal was connecting with an old college buddy who runs one of the charities that I'm really interested in working with. So, you know, I reached out to him and not that he was on my chicken list, but I reached out to him for my genetics before and yeah, yeah, I want to do it. And then just, you know, that silence. And I was like, okay, well, I want him to know it's not about that. So in any case, he was like so open to meeting. We met on Saturday, yesterday for coffee. And, you know, he was really excited about what I'm excited about doing. So he um, offered for me to start volunteering with the organization. And then, you know, he's got a couple of roles in mind he was thinking about and if it made sense to him and I, and it was just what I was hoping for to come out of this was um, being, having something really flexible and me being able to, you know, try it on sort of on my terms. This is what I really want to do and then jumping in and then still having the ability to work my residual business. So my second goal was committing to a half marathon. And I know you guys, a lot of you are marathon runners and you run a bunch of races. Well, I've only done 10 mile races and I haven't done one for a couple of years. So my second goal was committing to a half marathon in 2020. So I kind of stated that to Kevin during our, you know, coffee, tea, whatever. And um, he's like, hey, I'm in. And I'm like, okay, I'm into DC half marathon. So, you know, like that's the one I told him I was going to do, even though I can't stand running in the cold, like training in it. But I got on yesterday, signed up for it, sent him a text like, hey, I think you get a discount because you're a veteran. But he's like, you know, half an hour later, Laura and I are all signed up as wife. So second goal. So I kind of felt like I was ticking these things off and then some other personal things I was kind of ticking off. But lastly, you know, the other realization I kind of came to was not a goal, but just more of a discovery was I'm kind of the cleanup kid. You know, I'm always taking things off other people's plate um, and I'm not putting myself first. So this week I've been really present to what I'm volunteering for um, and trying to think about, you know, is this something that I should be doing or is this something that I'm taking off someone else's plate and they should be doing? So I've committed to protecting my time so I can give myself the time to achieve the goals that I want to achieve, if that makes sense. And then very lastly, my husband's so thrilled that I'm actually like that I'm so in activity about what I want to do because he just wants me to be happy. So I did it for me, but I'm happy he's happy. That's it. Awesome. Thank you. Sure. Yeah, you can see it. Like you can feel it. You can feel that you're in action. Yeah. You have an energy about you. Yeah, for sure. Good job, Kim. Good job knocking off your goals too, making them happen. Okay, who, Kelly. Kelly, you're not waiting anymore. Get in there. All right. Thank you. You're right. I need to step up more. Um, so the weekend, it's kind of hard to put in words. I can't probably describe actually how life-changing it truly has or has been and is going to be for me. Um, and 
I went in with goals to be a better leader, a stronger leader. And I know my weaknesses or I know the reasons I am not a leader or I don't speak up is because I lack confidence in myself. Um, so I definitely went in with those goals and I left with different goals. I left um, wanting to make my relationship stronger with my husband and putting him number one um, in my life before my son and before business and work and all that. Um, and I've definitely noticed even a different relationship between him and I since I've returned um, not even a week ago. I think we were graduating last week at this time, ladies. Um, but I think the biggest thing I took away with it from it was the way I communicate to people. And I know that I'm, I lack the way I communicated to people or I didn't communicate properly to people because um, the lack of confidence in myself. I hate to say I'm shy because I don't think I'm shy, but I, I think I don't communicate properly because the lack of confidence. So I would shy away from conversations, back away um, and assume people knew what I knew or knew what was going on in my mind instead of speaking or telling them how I feel or what I expect from them. Um, I've noticed a change and I, I work an after school program with 60 children every day. Um, I've noticed a huge change in just the way I treat that program, how I talk to all the children, my patience with them. I mean, every day there's major problems happening or children come with different complaints and all and I've been so patient and honestly have listened to each child one-on-one -on -one, um, children that come in with the chip on their shoulder every day and we would bang heads I don't know we would just communicate differently this week I didn't have conflict with any children and I know those kids didn't change I know it's the way my mindset's changed and the way I'm out looking on these conversations so it's truly made me a kinder, nicer, more open person. Um, I don't know. I'm just excited, excited to share my kindness and love with the world. Um, that's Feels really the wrap. Doesn't it feel good to be so good? And I spoke yesterday at Super Saturday. You I mean, did. for me, that's I huge. I all week was like worried about it for a night or two and stressing and I don't know I got there and I was happy and excited I mean for me that that was big just speaking up and um having the confidence to talk in front of a crowd so yes that was really big for me to take that step so I'm excited to keep uh cracking out of my shell <laughs> and I heard maybe you have a few people going to the basic in February is that true I'm trying yes all right yes. Ope. <laughs> we'll talk, yes, we'll, I was we'll trying talk to get Natasha that. on the call, but um, Natasha, I had spoken to her. She said you would send her the info, and I think they had a team call tonight. Yeah, I think they just jumped on, though. So they're here to hear. I did record it, and I'll post it later, but they are just in time to hear Danny speak. And, oh, and I was just going to repeat what Shannon said. I'm sorry. One more time. I, or, I had no idea what I was going into for that weekend, honestly. I, I thought Pete... PSI is what I was. I thought it stood for personal self-improvement. I mean, honestly, I still don't know what the acronym stands for. But I mean, Dawn and Robin, seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you. And some other friends that have gone to it, thank you for encouraging me to go. Thank you for continuously telling me to go. Like Shannon said, I don't think if you guys only asked me one time to go, I would have said no and I wouldn't have gone. But you guys continue telling me to go and telling me how important it was for me to go. Um, so it's really life changing and I cannot wait to go to the ranch to continue growing. And so I can't wait for you to go to the ranch. Right. Like I, all right. That's I all. Go, Dan. Oh, thank I, you. I want to say something really quick. Um, oh. Monday morning, I, I get up, I go to work. I really didn't see Kelly a whole lot Sunday night because she obviously got home really late and I get up really early. I come home from work. I mean, I could just tell already by the way she was communicating with me Monday via text while I was at work and then when I got home throughout the week, I could just tell she came back a more stronger, assertive woman. <laughs> and um, more right open, on. more open to discussion. And um, she was taking on a, a little bit more of a leadership role. And she was uh, very attentive to our personal relationship more too. So, I mean, I could just tell that, she, and it hasn't changed this week. I mean, all week. 
she's a, she really came back a different person. So I'm really impressed. I love you, baby. Thank you. Thanks for sharing, Opie. Now it's your turn, babe. Can you hear me? Yes. I, I've been trying to talk this whole time, and I think my microphone broke on me, so I just switched. If, if I'm here, and you can hear me. That's all that matters. Um, so I, I, I'm going to say something a little different. I, I uh, agree with everybody who's spoken so far, but I want to um, not be repetitive. So I'm going to share a little bit of a different perspective or just a little information. Um, the first thing I will say is that if it feels like everybody's being really like secretive or weird about like what's taught, like you're listening to this and you're like, okay, it sounds exciting. I see they're getting great results, but what is it? Uh, it's so hard to put into words. It's not that we're trying to be secretive or hold anything back. It's just, it's, it's so hard to explain. It, it's very, um, experiential like you you learn something you open your mind to a concept and then you go through an experience that helps you understand it and you walk out of it a different person um, and where Don said at the beginning that it's like the equivalent of three years of therapy maybe if you're really open-minded and good at being a in therapy for me it would be like 10 years of therapy like my life has changed as a wife as a mom as a daughter as a business owner as a friend as a leader. Um, and I walked into it hoping to get some business tips. Like I don't even, if someone probably would have told me what it was going to be in more detail, I don't know if I would have thought because I'm just a little on the arrogant side and probably would have thought I don't really need that. And I think I needed it more than anybody. And when I really humble myself and think about how much I've grown, it's been remarkable. Um, but one of the things we learned or we were told from the very beginning of the class and this, I think, is the best way to explain how it works, is we've all had those experiences when we're driving, and uh, we get from point A to point B, you know, we get to where we're going, we get there safe, uh, we're, we arrive, but we think to ourselves, I have no idea how I got here. And we call that autopilot or whatever, but your subconscious takes over, especially if you're going from like home to work or vice versa, and it's a drive you make every day, twice a day, you know, 300 and something days a year, your autopilot or your subconscious kicks in and it gets you from where you're, where you're at to home. Um, and one of the things our trainer taught us, who by the way, was the most engaging and awesome, amazing trainer I've ever experienced. And I've been blessed with a lot of great training because of Verizon poured money into our training programs. I've never experienced anything like this guy. He was amazing, amazing. Um, but he said, some people will, point that out and we think it's dangerous like oh my god I can't remember how I got here like I need to pay better attention but he urged us to think about it as not being dangerous but being powerful because your subconscious is so strong and so aware and so able to to control your actions that you can get there safely you made that left turn you stepped on your brakes when you needed to you stopped at that red light you didn't have to be fully aware for those things to happen because that's how powerful our subconscious is. In the same way that your heart is beating right now and your blood is pumping right now and you're breathing, you're not thinking to yourself you need to do those things. Your subconscious is doing them for you. And what, what he ventured beyond that, and at first I was like, I don't know, but I do now, is that your subconscious is making thousands of those types of decisions every day, thousands of them. And some of them are about how you behave as a wife, as a mom, as a spouse, as a student, as a business owner, as a person, you're just making decisions all the time and you're not even aware you're being faced with a decision to make. And if you were aware, would you make a different choice? And that is the best way I could sum up the three days is a heightened awareness to those choices that we're being faced with almost every minute of every day. And that is where, you know, like Kimberly said, and Shannon and Kelly, and I will echo it. This has been the most productive week I have had in years. Like seriously, I was more product productive in the last six days than I've been probably in the last six months combined. Um, I started decluttering my house, which is a big deal for me. Um, I made two enrollments this week. Uh, one of them signed up on my very first value pack I've ever sold. Um, I had four people at the, at the Super Saturday when going into the week, I had nobody scheduled. I had an opportunity with meeting that somebody that has been on my chicken list and it was the most natural, easiest. I didn't even talk about the products. It wasn't a, he, 
it wasn't a product meeting. It was a meeting about how this opportunity could benefit and enhance his life. Um, so that's from a business standpoint. My son and I have read every day this week, which is really important to him. And on Thursday night, my husband said to me, which I think was just so amazing. He said, I don't know what you learned in this three day training, but the sense of peace that you brought home with you that you're now sharing with me and our kids is amazing. And I just want you to know how much I appreciate it. And to get that as a compliment that I'm bringing peace into my house, I can't even, that alone is worth every penny that I spent on the training. Um, and like the, the other women said, I took the leap of faith because both Don and Robin told me I needed to be there and I trust these women with everything. So I was like, okay. And I didn't even look at the website when I signed up. They told me to call Heather and give her my credit card. So I said, okay, I'll call Heather. I don't know. Called Heather, gave her my credit card and I showed up Friday morning and my life will never, ever, ever be the same. And I'm so grateful for the experience and just can't wait to get to the ranch and the next level of uh, where we can take it. I can't wait for you to get there either. There's really good stuff waiting for you there. That's how, oh. I, feel every that's how I feel every time I go there. I'm like, oh, what breakthrough is waiting for me? Like there's always something waiting for me there. And well, it's me, it's me waiting for me there to like take it to the next level, right? But it's all good. Renee, what about you? Thank you, Danny, for sharing. What about you, Renee? Yes. Renee so. is headed to the ranch actually I in know, January. I oh, I'm I, so excited for you. It's so awesome. I, I am headed to the ranch in December 9th. So in a couple weeks, so I'm excited. But uh, for me, I'm attending a seminar. I wanted to learn or find out ways how I could come out of my comfort zone because I wanted to expand my business and I knew that I had to communicate in order to expand my business. And that is like one of my weaknesses because I am truly an, an introvert and um, I wanted the business to grow. So I, I just needed help to, to break that, that cycle. And one of the key takeaways that I took away from that was that um, how we are programmed and that, you know, by the age of 18, 90% of our programs are already in place and we need to, in, in order for you to change your programs, you have to, you know, debunk those habits and change your values so that, or create values so that you could, you know, expand your business and do what you need to do. So one of the things one of the things that I decided to do as a goal was to better my communication because doing so will increase my business and build relationships and, and help my business to grow. So um, I used to be in Toastmasters, so I let my membership expire. So what I did was renew my membership so that I can get those speeches in because I felt that the speeches would help me to be a better communicator and therefore I could be a better leader to my team when I grow my team and to take risks and to be the leader and to communicate with them better. So um, I felt that this program, this basic seminar was just like the, the basic for me, you know, because I'm looking for more. I wanted more, you know, from this seminar. So I'm just excited that I will be attending uh, the ranch next month so that I can dig deeper into like my fears and you know so that I can learn more about myself to peel those layers of that onion away so I can you know focus on myself and then find out what it would take for me to propel and to expand and to grow and to build that confidence that I know that I need to to be a leader in my business so I'm excited wow that's awesome Renee I'm, I'm really, really excited for you. And the ranch in December is a magical place. I mean, it's magic any time of year, but it's just, it's, it'll be really cool. Rob, is, is Robin still on the call? Yeah. Yep, yeah, I'm here. Well, hey, baby. Hi there. Oh. <laughs> hey, I thought you could wrap it up for us. I, I want to keep it short so that people, you know, so we're not too long and so that people can come back and listen later. But I thought you could share about PLD. Well, honestly, or I think- you want to share, honestly? I think, it, I think it doesn't get any more raw or real, and I happen to have a prop in my lap right now because <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I wouldn't have done this work, if I wouldn't have gone through all of the different levels of Psy, I would have never had the belief in myself 
to know that I could be a single mom because there are so many women out there that want to have children on their own and they say to themselves, there's no way. The fear would just overtakes them and there's, they may have the financial resources or, you know, whatever, but, um, you know, having a baby on your own is probably one of the most courageous things I've ever done. And because of the work I did in the basic and then at the ranch, I knew 100% in my heart of hearts that I had everything that it took to give my children the love and happy home that both parents could give them. So for me, it's absolutely something that is priceless and everything to me because it gives you the, the, honestly, it's like a drill. It drills through all your stupid program, all your fears, all your limiting beliefs to get you through to that freedom on the other side where there's absolutely nothing that can hold you back and there's nothing that you can't do. And there's nothing if you believe in it and want it bad enough that you can't create for yourself. And we had a, we had a session yesterday and super Saturday and you know, Danny was with Dawn and I, and they said, what are you doing? I said, basically I'm putting all this stuff up on my vision board and then I'm just ticking it off left and right. And I'm making it happen. Right. Because I can, because I believe in it. And it's because I don't have any, I'd still have limiting beliefs, but then I go back to the work and I go back to, you know, the processes and procedures that I've learned through these classes that basically get me through to the other side and break through your fear. And I played PLD, which is the last course, which is the final course out of the courses. It's a 90 day sprint to your goals. And um, I played it from Maryland in Phoenix. So I had to fly to Phoenix six times in 90 days. And it was, you know, most people play it in the same city that they're in, but I was like, whatever, why can't, I can do it. I can do it. Why, if they, you know, other people have done it from different states, so I can do it. And I did it and I, I conquered it and succeeded. And that's when I went three-star golden circle and isogenics and never stopped. So, you know, you make these goals and then you go for them and you've got this team of people believing in you and cheering you on just like an isogenics. Uh, but with this, when you go to the ranch and you go to the basic, you get a group of 40 people cheering you on, 50 people cheering you on. And then the next class you get a hundred. And how are you ever uh, not going to hit your goals when you've got hundreds of people that want you to achieve your goals? Right. It's like getting the best of the best and wanting, wanting success for you and love and, and happiness. So. Yeah. It's a whole different level of relationships, right? It's a whole different level of friendships and relationships and shared experiences. So on that note, thank you for sharing. Thanks for coming and being a prop Crosby. Um, like I don't, I, hopefully you heard something tonight for people who haven't been, hopefully you heard something that make you want to find out more. There is a basic in uh, they don't happen on the East Coast very often. Again, there's one in Long Island in February, maybe 23rd to the 25th, something like that. I can post it. They happen every six weeks in Phoenix. So if, if you're ready to go, don't wait. I mean, there was one in Kansas City this weekend. Phoenix has every six weeks. San Francisco, probably about the same pace. Denver, Hawaii, like, I mean, talk about a business expense. Personal growth, a trip to Hawaii. Do a little personal growth in Honolulu. It's all good. So um, you can look up the website. You'll find it. You can, you can Google it. You'll also read that it's a cult. Right, Robin? It's a cult. It's all good. <laughs> right, everybody? Huh? Well, you're muted. Isogenics is a cult, too. We drank oh, yeah, I've heard that as well. Kool-Aid. So. Happiness cult. Mm-hmm. Say it again. It's a happiness cult. A happiness cult. There are worse things, right? So if yeah. you have any questions, I'm happy to talk to anybody. Robin would be happy to share her experience. But at the end of the day, if somebody who knows you and loves you is telling you to go, then just take it on faith and go, right? That's what you guys did. And I promised you, you wouldn't regret it. I promised you, you would thank me at the end of three days, right? I can always stand in that because I know what people will get. Like, so I have no, I have no problem promising that to everybody. And it's full money back guarantee. You guys didn't even know that. Did you know that? Full money back guarantee. (laughs) So thanks everybody for joining. I'm going to end the recording so that we can share this with other people. Thanks for sharing you guys. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night.